welcome guys to the vlog and it is well it's a beautiful day uh, can't complain that way there's not a cloud in the sky we're on a noisy road though so uh, yeah but anyways guys I have well I have a few questions to answer myself in the next couple days to come uh, well one is that you, if you've been watching my videos, you'll know that uh, I'm interested in getting a brand new Corvette, guys. Uh, I'm interested in getting the Grand Sport, is what I've been talking about. But uh, another question has, uh, well, has surfaced. Riddle me this, Batman. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and that question is, well, uh, do I get a Z06? Uh, I, I found one, brand new, uh, and I don't know why I didn't build a Z06 to, to, to price match because really it's only, uh, it's about $15,000 more, I can, I can, you know, it's within my budget, so, you know, why wouldn't I get a Z06? Or, or uh, maybe I should go uh, one step above with the Grand Sport, like, you know, I'm only getting in the Grand Sport the LT1 package, which is like the entry level package. I'm not getting any, you know, bells and whistles or anything like that. But, you know, I can go with the Grand Sport and maybe get the LT, the LT2 package and uh, see how that works. You know, I can, I can kind of see what's going on. But I really haven't decided yet because that Z06 is a lot more car. Now, I'm a practical kind of guy. <laughs> Do I need that extra power? Am I gonna be taking it to the track a lot? And how often am I gonna be using that power? Okay, those are the questions I'm gonna ask myself. And that's that's like three other questions within that one question. It's, it's question inception. <laughs> so I, uh, I really don't know what to do. That Grand Sport, you know, it's a beautiful car. It has, you know, the look, it has the wide body, it has the brakes, it has the tires. It has everything the Z06 has, except for that beautiful, beautiful motor of it. I used to say engine, it's not a motor, it's not electric. But anyways, uh, the engine. So, what do I do? So you kinda, kinda think in the future here, are you gonna be modding your Grand Sport? And that question is yes. I would be modding my Grand Sport. So what would you be doing to it? Just quickly. Uh, cam, headers, uh, maybe a Pro Charger, uh, cutouts, and uh, was you know that those are the first steps. Now, could that get it to 650 horse? It'd be close. It'd be around the ballpark. Um, I don't I don't know but from what I've read and from what I've been told by uh, a lot of performance shops 650 in that motor in the Grand Sport motor the LT1 is gonna be that's that's its limit before you start you know you so before you're gonna have to start working that bottom end a bit so what do I do And by the time I spent all that money, because you're looking at Pro Charger cam headers and all that, that's, you're looking at 10 grand right there, give or take. I don't know, I haven't looked at the Pro Charger kit, how much it's gonna cost. But then you have to factor in that, you have to, you know, that's just the parts and then the labor to put it in and then the tune it and whatnot. So I'm gonna say 10 grand. Now if the Z06 is only gonna cost me, you know, 15 to 16,000 more dollars up front, why wouldn't I go with that extra power? And why wouldn't I go with that big beefy engine in the Z06? Right? Because that big beefy engine, if I was going to mod that, which I wouldn't be able to right away, but still, it can take 1,000 horse to the wheels, where the other one, the LT1 can only take, uh, you know, 650 to the wheels. So you, you, know, you know, ask yourself those questions. But whatever, we're gonna go on question two. Am I gonna be using that power? Again, we're going back to the modding and right up front right away and everything else. So, yes and no. I will take it to the track, 
but does the track allow me to use that power? Only on one straightaway uh, can you use that power, can you really open it up? So then again, it comes down to steering and handling, and the Grand Sport does a beautiful job of that, right? It, it, the Grand Sport, from what I've read and from what I've been told, does an amazing job with the amount of horsepower and the extra wide body it has, and it handles it so apparently so so beautifully, so elegant, <laughs> right? So I, again, you know, I've been told that Z06 can turn into a madman real quick, and you got to control that beast, right? Beautiful, you know, performing car. Uh, some say that it could be a little overpowering for that car, but I don't think so. So again, am I going to be tracking a lot? No, I'm not going to be tracking a lot. That's a lot of wear and tear on a vehicle. I don't want to really beat the crap out of it because I, I just, I'm not going to go out if I break, you know, a, a part and I'm going to be stuck with a bill of like 2000 you know, maybe 1500 800 I don't want to, you know, I want to treat my baby good. <laughs> but I still do want to track it, just not to beat the snot out of it. So anyways, yeah, that kind of, that's kind of a gray area. The third question is and this is a big one it's time and what I mean by that is if I order the Grand Sport if I go out today and order that Grand Sport it's not gonna be here until March 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 is too far I personally think if I ordered it today uh, and you're asking yourself why factory the Corvette factory uh, I forget where it's located just shut down they're uh, revamping they're fixing their lines their production lines uh, some of them you know are older and then obviously if you ever worked in a factory or you do work in a factory you understand that uh, things do get shut down things do need fixing and this is when they're doing it. it sucks for me but good for them keep their production you know going and keeping that factory in that same spot that's pretty cool and that's great but they're gonna be down until mid-november now I live in the beautiful country of Canada <laughs> not the US of A uh, and I don't live in southern states or you know a warm climate all year round as soon as November hits uh, I've been told mid-november they stop shipping Corvettes up here they don't they don't ship any more Corvettes so from December January February and around you know early March they do not ship Corvettes to my dealer where I live so that means I am SOL so I'm gonna have to wait until March because the factory is shut down and they don't ship in cold weather okay I got you cool that sucks for me and I want a Grand Sport okay if I get the Z06 Z06 is at another or the, the Z06 is at another dealership right now it's not the one I went to, but sometimes dealers can mingle amongst themselves and make trades and make, you know, whatnot. I could just go to that dealer and get, you know, get the car. I, I really could. But I could, uh, you know, I went to the dealer, the first dealer I went and talked with the Grand Sport and pretty much had, you know, everything ready to go to order. And, you know, I you know, saw that car and I held off on it. So, what do I do? I can get that Z06 probably by this week or next week, if everything went well. Have a car now, like the Z06, or wait five, six months for the Grand Sport. What do I do? That is the question I need to ask myself. And I don't know the answer of it. I'm, I'm uh... I'm lost. Like the answer I'm giving myself in my head right now is take the Z06, go for it. Okay. And I haven't even seen the Z06 that I want. I know it's the, it's the package I want. It's the LZ or it's the is it the L1Z or LZ or whatever. But it's the entry level package for the Z06. Okay. So it's not it's not going to be anything crazy. Which is, which is fine, because some of those Z06s can get ridiculous money for, you know, all the bells and whistles inside, and that's, 
that's just not me. I want the performance of the car. So anyways, I'm I'm right now leaning towards the Z06. I do want a Grand Sport, but the time limit. If you were to actually put the Z06 and the Grand Sport up, like if they both had them on the lot and the, both the colors I wanted, both in manual, because they do have automatics at the dealerships, but I don't want an automatic, even though I know they're faster, yada, 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 whatnot. I, I want a manual, I want a nice, beautiful seven speed. That's, that's just the way I am. So if they had them both up, you know, there at the dealership, the Z06 and the Grand Sport, I'd probably go with the Grand Sport. But that's, uh, that's probably me, because it's a little bit cheaper. Uh, I'm not gonna be using that power all that often, and it still does have 460 horse, so I'm happy with that. And I could probably, you know, well, it's cheaper. <laughs> And uh, I'm gonna go with that. But the Z06 is the Z06 is a beautiful car. So what do I? I don't know. See how confused I am. Like I, you know what? I say that as a decision I would make, but I probably end up going with the Z06. Ah, see, I just I flip flop. I just don't know. I don't know. So anyways, guys, that's I'm in a dilemma. I don't know what to do, and it, it's it is pretty confusing on my part. Uh, See, I'm just gonna relate to this car. I went with, you know, the ZL1 because I wanted the power. I didn't go with the SS because I knew it was less power. I went with the ZL1 because I wanted the I wanted the top dog of the pack. Should I not relate that also to that? <laughs> uh, I don't know, guys. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. If you guys want to follow my social media scene. I will have the links down below, Instagram, Twitter, and my Facebook page. Give that a like. But anyways, guys, subscribe to the video so you guys can see what happens, see what kind of car I will be driving, because no matter what, I am getting a Corvette. So I hope you guys click that button, stick around, watch the uh, new road, uh, the new journey I'm going to be uh, coming up on here, guys, in a few, a few weeks. Phew, oh my god, my coffee few months but anyways thanks for watching i am kevin 519 streets have a good day peace